Hello there everyone, MogaDFM tips. So I've done a few of these videos, basically tutorials where I synthesize sounds. And today let's make a clap with DFM or with any other synthesizer that has some basic uh, modulation capabilities and a noise source. So claps are pretty hard to synthesize. Um, I made something here that comes close um, to like a typical synth clap. Um, it's not going to uh, convince anyone um, to part with their classic 808 or 909 drum machine. But yeah, this is the sound that I came up with. You'll hear it change. They're not all the same. which is cool, but some of them sound more clappy than others. Now, um, this is the final result. I thought I'd just share that because it's difficult. Let's try and make this from scratch. So I'll remove this little patch cable, the modulation, and I'll basically, I'll set everything to like a standard sort of initialized patch. Um, frequencies. You'll see actually I have none of the oscillators volumes up. Um, I have the one note playing here, the velocities of all the other ones are zero. Um, the switch here, the pitch modulation is set to sequencer off for both oscillators. Um, the clap is a noise-based sound, but it does matter because for the clap um, effect, which is basically several short bursts of white noise in a, in a very small amount of time, we're going to use modulation coming from the VCOs. So if we just have some noise just um, going through the VCA with the filter open, you get this. Now you could make that shorter and become sort of a hi-hat. You can make it longer and you could argue it's sort of like a snare. For the clap, we need that crunchy and that's actually not that easy to achieve. So what I started doing is um, taking the output from VCO1 and having that modulate noise level. Now, I can turn the noise down and you'll still hear sound because the noise level is now controlled by oscillator one. If I set that to a square, you basically give it an on off signal if I slow it down, you can hear that. It's like, like a stroboscope, like quickly sort of flashing on off. Um, if you speed that up, you get this sort of crunchy burst thing, which is a little bit more like a clap. Um, now, the problem here is that in a typical clap, like the clap sounds from the classic, classic Roland uh, machines, um, it simulates a bunch of people trying to clap together and their hands are hitting each other at slightly different times. Like, you know, like an audience, people are clapping along to music and you can hear that they're, they're not actually all on the beat. They're sort of around the beat. Some people will clap early, some will late, etc. Um, but after the beat happens, then there's silence or the, the, the clap sound rings, but you don't get that sound. You don't keep that sound of different claps hitting at different times all the time. So a typical synth clap will be something like, if you look at the waveform, it'll be like three short bursts and then the fourth one is a long one. So you this on off sound, you, you really want it to hit only a few times and then you want a regular um, 
noisy tail where that modulation isn't happening and that's actually a little bit difficult to achieve because you would need basically a separate envelope um, controlling the amount of this modulation and I don't think there is a way to do that on the um, on the patch bay correct me if I'm wrong but what I came up with is well what if we have um, oscillator 2 doing the, the the same job here sounds the same but oscillator 2 can be frequency modulated so we need um, a certain frequency to get this clap effect but we can change the frequency and thus changing the rate at which the noise is being modulated um, and we have FM here so we can do that actually the FM amount is set to maximum um, this is what it sounds like without and the FM does change this relationship um, and the FM is coming from oscillator 1 and we can give that um, an envelope um, or we could try the same with oscillator uh, 1 instead use the pitch envelope there I tried that I think it sounds sort of better with one modulating the other it gives a few more sound shaping options so basically you could imagine starting with a high pitch and then falling to a low pitch so let's try that with oscillator one again maybe i'll have some more luck this time so oscillator one let's forget about the fm thing here um i'll come back to that but oscillator one we have the vco um envelope amount here and the decay so what we're doing now is if, if we just listen to the output is like a zap, right? It starts high and it ends low. Um, or you could reverse it. Start low and end high. Um, you can hear that here. So if you start low and then go higher, the, 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 the modulation could become so fast that you can't really hear it anymore or it becomes more like a noisy tail. here at the end there um, but what I try to do with um, with the FM here um, and having oscillator 2 um, control the, the noise level is basically um, what we had at the beginning here try to find a sort of sweet spot here where you get the crunchiness in the beginning and just a normal noise tail at the end. Um, and it would make sense if this ends at a really high frequency with the, and then that modulates this. But there would be a sweet spot where you hear the, the sort of the crackle, the sort of the, the opening closing in the beginning and only at the end um, the, the, the frequency of the modulation becomes so high that you don't hear it anymore. That's basically the idea. Sort of like this. And then finally um, I use the high pass with some resonance. You can emphasize certain frequencies with a clap. It'll often have this sort of mid rangey sort of peak. And this is, of course, an uh, adjusted taste thing. That's actually not too bad.
that might be better than the one at the beginning. So if you have a good VST with a lot of modulation options, then it's probably even easier, well, even easier. <laughs> it is probably easier to make a convincing clap sound if you want to. Um, you can, of course, also just use a clap sample, or you could even take some white noise um, and with an audio editor, just um, stick a few very short bursts together and end on a longer one uh, and basically um, create a clap in, in that way. And there are drum synths that, does, that do it. For instance, uh, Microtonic, uh, great drum synth VST, um, has a, a clap envelope that lets you choose the amount of, of bursts at the beginning. Um, and even with that, it's difficult to make something that sounds like a, a classic 909 or 808 clap. So, but yeah, this... This could be usable. So, uh, as you can see, not the easiest sound to generate, but uh, I think it's fun to experiment with these things. And as always, uh, if you try to do something like this and you find some other interesting sound that uh, inspires you, just go with that. Um, but yeah, if you want to do it, then this is uh, a way to make a clap sound with Moog DFAM. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I shall see you on the next one. Bye bye.